So I decided to do a review on him. Here he is. He's Pixel. Yeah. As you can see, I get a better viewing <coughs> angle if I put it on a mug. Uh, table's getting wet, so. Yeah, he's pretty simple. I really like how he looks, but I'm going to take him apart no matter how much I like his appearance. Here. So, I'm actually going to start from the ground up without giving an overview. Well, actually, I'll just say the storyline. The storyline is that he's, uh, he is a Makuta, and he's neutral, and he was, he's like, 744 billion years old. I don't know. Okay. That's just an, it's just what I chose. I'm probably going to shrink his age down, or... I'm probably just going to take him apart and forget that he ever existed, but, yeah. So, I'll start from the ground up. Legs are pretty cool. He's got an Ica feet, he's got the um, Rakshi lower things, and his upper leg design is unique. I took one of these pokey armor pieces, I stuck these together with it and put a Technic piece on, so they wouldn't come apart and stuck it on a regular leg. Then I just took an Anika shoulder piece and put it upside down on the shin for shin armor just to give it a little bit more bulk because without it this thing looks really bulky and it just looks weird. So yeah, I like the leg design. It's nice, I guess. Yeah. Got one of the silver er, chest plates from Anika Matoro. It's got one of the Matus um, thingies. I got the mask from Takanufa Stars. Whatever. Yeah, he's. I don't know. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So, his torso, yeah, the Anika armor. He's got a uh, bow rock eye for a chest, glowy thing. It's just an, uh, it's just an aqua blue, tra an, an aqua trans blue. Not the icy trans blue, but the aqua one, because it matches his eyepiece. And because the ice one doesn't look good on him. And I and the eyepieces aren't made in that color, and the Matus X is a lot closer to aqua blue than ice blue. So, and it doesn't have any white in it. I always wondered that, but it makes it better for mocking because this guy doesn't have white, but it has silver and fades into that aqua bluish shade. So, it works. It, I was actually happy that they had no white in it because otherwise I wouldn't be able to use it on this guy, and I'd have to show that clever axe design on someone else. I was originally going to make it really long and put it on someone else, like a pole axe, but I just like it this way. So, his arms, his arm design, his arms aren't really much. He has these hands that were designed by Shadow Gear 6335. They're originally on Makaron, yes, but I took Makaron apart eons ago. I found it working design so that you can have them look like they're grabbing something and they're actually holding it. See, I just use, I just put on like that thing, a little Technic and dollop a do, and stuck it into the back hole of the hand. So yeah, you can, and so yeah, it looks pretty nice. It looks like it's holding the weapon. So, yeah, it's really nice. I had those silver bow rock pal things just to make it match the color of the fingers so the entire hand is all matchy matchy. Light gray blends in because it's like pearl gray and light gray. They kind of mix in there. Are kind of hard to tell apart. So it looks like the hand is all one solid color. Now onto the forearm. 
Just simple, one of the vocations with a little metro chest piece on it and the upper arm I just put in a Nike thigh armor on it. And I thought I might as well put a thigh and a Nike thigh armor on it, which doesn't add much bulk because I gave it these shoulder pieces anyway. These metro pelvises. They actually are in the very center, which I like, and it worked out very well. If you want the design to live on, then you can use it. I'll probably use it on another mock. See, here's the design. Credit me, again, if you're going to use my design. But, yeah, see, it's pretty simple. It just clips into there, like this. Oh, one of the holes. Ah. Yeah, it clips into the lower hole, so it'll look a little bit better. So, they swivel like, yeah, he has that old aqua blue eye piece from Metro Nuju, and his mask. His mask is pretty interesting. It's uh, Bionicle Stars, um, the Bionicle Star or his Avoki. But I added a lot of detail to it. I added, like, in, if you look closely, you can see, like, a lot of detail, like an eye scratch thing, some corrosion, some goldness. I don't know. I just tried to make it look bare magna y, and in doing so, it ended up looking just kind of corrupted, and I like how that looks. The detail on the mask is that it's supposed to be the original one of the... Um, it was the original mask that the Mask of Light was based off of. The Mask of Light was created to fool all the people of the universe and so they wouldn't want to steal his mask anymore. And so his mask was hidden along with him. But yeah, then he came out and then they found his mask and said it looks identical to the Mask of Light and then he explained it. So yeah, I can't think of much more to explain. That's pretty much it. So this is Lee. Lee signing off. He's pretty short. His like actually yeah, his legs are one stud shorter than the Unica legs, but and his arms are longer because the hands. But yeah. So now this is Lee. Lee signing off. Yeah.